Welcome back to the Nerd Room once again. James Sharmack here with another Walmart hunt for you. So, it's February 1st. We're gonna do a hunt on a Monday rather than Tuesday because we got a storm coming. Currently in beautiful Nashville, New Hampshire, it's about 17 degrees. So, a heat wave. We've had zero degrees, we've had negative degrees for the past couple days. So, anything above zero and double digits is good. It's, it's a nice heat wave for me. So, we're gonna Take some coins into the coin store, see what we got. We're gonna do a toy hunt. Probably check out the Blu-ray bin, see what else they got, and that should be a good time. So hope you guys enjoy. If you do like these videos, hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel because you know you're watching these anyway, so why not? We hit 280 subscribers last month. Let's see if we can hit 290 before the end of this month. Let's do it. So I've been saving for months and months and months with just coins, so I decided today I was just gonna cash in the silver coins that coins are obviously and uh got a pretty healthy amount uh fifty dollars when i started out they took out you know about six dollars so i had 44 left over so that was pretty cool so onwards to the toy hunt ah uh, amherst walmart you never fail to disappoint me with your lack of selection as usual so it's basically you know let's see what they don't have as always they have some of the Godzilla stuff, of course. I probably want to see about getting that giant Godzilla sometime, the film one. Just to see how it goes. Maybe a Kong, who knows, but... You know, they have the usual stuff that we've already seen. Godzilla vs. Kong. Some more of the Godzillas on a top shelf. Uh, Godzilla. Uh, some of the real Ghostbuster stuff. I kind of found it interesting that the Ghost Trap was like 15 bucks, so... Who knows, we might get that, see how that works. Uh, some of the real Ghostbusters stuff, uh, Scooby, or Scoob whatever, I guess, uh, from the movie, of, comp of kind of a lack of, uh, Marvel stuff, you know, I'm kind of surprised by that, I still am surprised by that, because usually they have one, at least one Marvel Legends, but none to be had, the adult collect, uh, collectibles are kind of wa waning here, uh, Toy Story stuff, plenty of that, some, a few DC stuff, few DC figures it looks like uh moving on Transformers I, get, I guess we're going back into the Beast Wars I not really been paying attention to that so uh you know it's, I guess they call it Kingdom now Optimus Primal Masters of the Universe stuff you know we've you know that's not really going uh, you know a lot of Skeletors a lot of He-Man Star Wars stuff I kind of found it interesting that they're going, going ridiculously small with the figure line now. I guess it's called the Mission Fleet, so like the figure's like, what, two inches tall? But whatever, I don't know. Uh, moving on, some uh, more of the Mission Fleet, the dry jars that aren't moving. I'm sure somebody will sell them just, or buy them just to put them into collections or store them or whatever. I don't know, Mission Fleet on the top there, Dark Sabres, some WWE figures, nothing too much. Legos, you know, stuff we've already seen. Uh, jumping into the Mandalorian, they have some Wonder Woman that looked like. Uh, some more of the Marvel and Batman stuff. You know, surprisingly empty shelves. Because, you know, I thought Walmart was trying to... Or, you know, back when Toys R Us closed, they were trying to fill the void. But whatever, I don't know. Uh, roll back about $10 on the Loki playset. Uh... I keep looking at that uh, Avengers Tower. I keep thinking I want to get one, but I don't really know. I don't know. Just the Legos aren't my thing so much. I did the uh, Indiana Jones, you know, sets for a while, but you know they didn't really do it for me. International Space Station, right there. Uh, some more stuff. Masters of the Universe, Playmates, usual spiel we've seen before. Uh, the other side, you know, the bigger stuff like the Adats, of course, the Adat, Millennium Falcon. Like, you know, uh, I know Legos are big. I, I don't know, I just, for some reason I'm not really interested in building so much as I am just having, you know, a collection show, but whatever. Uh, still plenty of Harry Potters, Minecraft, you name it. The usual stuff, uh, I guess that's, uh, what, the observatory? Uh, this little Spider-Man car there, uh, uh, Super Mario, Jurassic World, you know, the city, one that was always a big seller when I was a kid, the city playsets. 
the NECA, the, the doll collectible section. Uh, NECA's uh, got the gremlins there. I didn't notice King Kong there before today. So, you know, I thought that was interesting. It looks like they're going with the 1933 King Kong. But, you know, we'll probably just take that and we'll put it right in the cart. Yep. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that. Seeing if it fits in the collection. Some other stuff. Uh, I guess it's the Spider-Ham Q-Fig. I don't know what a Q-Fig is. So more collectible stuff. I know you guys love the pop. I don't so much with Funko Pops. You know, they. I don't really get it, but it is what it is. And the RK1 up still, you know, haven't moved the uh, NBA Jams or the Ms. Pac Man that, you know, were there before. I'm always looking to buy at least one, maybe two more machines. We'll see how it goes. And we're off to see what's in the bin. And, uh, you know, I love going in these bins. And uh, we're going to get ready to see what I got from the store. Okay guys, so pretty much as expected, we didn't really, really find much. We did find a King Kong NECA. I've been looking for that, so we'll see how that goes. We'll do a review, obviously. Got Batman Soul of the Dragon, the uh, Batman and uh, a Bruce Lee type movie, I guess. Even though they're, I know who their characters are. Got the Shaft remake. Seven bucks was an easy price to pay. And I had to get Baby Driver. I don't have it in the collection, so I need to add that one. Anyways, guys, you know how these trips to Walmart go. You don't really find too much at the one in uh, New Hampshire and Amherst. But what can you do, right? It is what it is. We found a couple of things, so that's pretty good. You know, I try not to leave empty-handed. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll review that King Kong figure. Looking forward to that. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. If you guys do like these toy hunt videos or, you know, the fact that I walk around and, and you know, try to find stuff. Hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you, you know, watch these already. So my name is James Charmack. This has been a nerd with JAJ. And as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.